Hello everybody, uh, it's Angelo, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up our repainted packs so that you guys can play them on your own. I'm going to be using Paper Mario as an example here, since it has custom files in it. Uh, Luigi's Mansion is actually the only one that does not have custom files in it, it only has custom textures. But uh, to make it easier so you guys know how to do both of them, I'm going to be using Paper Mario so you guys can learn how to put the custom files into the game as well, just like Super Mario Sunshine. So. What you're going to do first is uh, you're going to see that there's two folders in here called Dolphin Emulator and Root. Each pack has these two folders, but uh, each pack has a little bit of a difference to them. Uh, but this program here, this EXE, this is GC Rebuilder. We actually did not make these this program ourselves. This is made by somebody else, but you can Google it on uh, on Google, obviously. You can Google it on Google. Look it up, uh, GC Rebuilder. It's a very nifty little tool that can decompile and recompile GameCube games. So uh, once you open up that exe, you're going to get this folder, not folder, it's a, it's a pop-up, but uh, yeah, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is press image and open, and it's going to uh, start browsing for an image file, which is basically a GameCube ISO. Now we cannot legally provide the games that you are going to be putting these packs into, so you're going to have to look them up yourself, but um, yeah, that's just a little bit of a problem there but either way open up your ISO and uh, you see this right here this game code you need to make sure that it's the same as what's in the dolphin emulator load textures folder see here that it says G8ME01 and over here on the window it says G8ME01 so this is the correct ISO so that's good you're good to go um, but what you're gonna do is you're going to right click once you have the ISO open you're going to right click on root and press export well actually first before we do that let's uh let's make a new folder on here somewhere so that's easier to get to uh let's just make name it pm or something that way we know what to do with it we're going to press export and we're going to export it to the pm folder that we just made And once it's done, it should give you a little pop-up that says done. And uh, what you're going to do next is open up the PM folder. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. So you're going to open up the PM folder, and you're going to see this root. All you got to do is drag this folder onto here. Actually, no. That was a bad idea. Hold on a sec. Duh. Okay. What you really have to do is drag this root and put it in the same folder as that root folder. Now it's going to ask you if you want to combine these these folders. Press yes. Yes. Move and replace. Just do it for all the files. Um, once that's done, all you're going to do is open up this PM folder. Actually, you don't need to do that. Hold on. Open up GC Rebuilder again. And you're going to press root open. You're going to go to the root of the PM that you just made. And now it's going to open up all those things with the new files that you just put in there. And you're going to press save. And you're going to name it whatever you want to name it. I already have PMTTYD repainted ISO up there. So I'm just going to call it something slightly different. PMTTYD... R. I'm going to press OK. And I'm going to press I root and rebuild. Now it's going to rebuild the ISO with all the new files inside of it. <sighs> OK, now that it's done, we have the ISO ready with all the new files and stuff. But now we have to get the actual textures working. This is the easy part. So all you need to do is, you see this folder here, this Dolphin Emulator folder? All you gotta do is drag this into your documents folder. That's all you gotta do. If you already have a folder in your documents folder called Dolphin Emulator, just merge it with it. It'll it'll merge very quickly because it has all the folders that, that you need to have, all the files that you need to have in it, all the textures, and that's all you really need to do beforehand. Now that you got that done, open up Dolphin Emulator. Let me open up mine real quick. It'll open. It's taking a little bit. Now, 
And before you load up your game, uh, press graphics. Uh, you're going to go to advanced, and you're going to check mark where it says load custom textures. Uh, you're going to want your texture cache set all the way to fast as well. And that's really all you need to do before you actually start up your game. And I'm not sure which one this is, but I'm going to find out right now. Let me see. Yeah, let's just uh, take the, fold the file we just named and drag it in here and start it up. And it should start up any second now. And uh, there you go. Now you got your uh, custom textures working. Now let's see if the files worked as well. Yep, the custom text files also worked. So, that's how you do it. That's how you import your custom files into the ISO that we made and in and the uh, textures as well. That's this is how you get them working. Die.